Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about peak detector and which is going to be a very interesting topic in electronics, in practical application of electronic circuit, okay? So, you might have studied maxima minima concept in mathematics, in calculus, right? So, to determine the maxima, what we do? To get the uh, maxima uh, of a function, what we do generally, we take, uh, first we differentiate that function, suppose fx is the function, then we differentiate and we can have uh, f dash of x, then we make f dash x equal to 0, then we calculate the roots of the equation of f dash x equal to 0 and those may be maxima or minima, then to understand whether it is maxima or minima, we make another test, that is we calculate f double dash x, that is second derivative and we put those roots and if for, for some particular roots of f dash x equal to 0, if f double dash x comes as negative value, then we say that at those points, the f of x is taking maximum value, right? So, in electronics, have you ever thought that whether if there is su such kind of circuit which can uh, give us the value which is maximum for a particular time interval for a particular function. That function may be random in nature. We don't have the mathematical expression also. So, how an electronic circuit can calculate that? And if we able to model such circuit, then it's practical application will be huge and we can apply in many places to make our work very simple and to make proper design, okay, Fair to decrease the accidents, okay. So, here this peak detector performs that operation. So, slowly by slowly I will explain. So, see this is the basic circuit of the half wave rectifier which you have already studied in your class uh, 12 modern physics course nothing to explain v in is ac signal then there is diode this may be 1n4001 or any other type of diode then rl is the load resistor across which we are taking output and if you consider this as ideal diode then what will happen for positive cycle of the input waveform the diode will be forward biased and this will be replaced by short circuit and across rl we will get the same input voltage and for the negative half cycle of the input waveform the diode will be reversed bias so it will act like open circuit so across rl we will get no voltage right so in this way half wave rectification is performed and if you consider this diode as constant voltage drop model instead of uh, considering this as ideal voltage ideal model so what will happen that to turn on the diode there will be 0.7 volt drop if you consider this as silicon diode then obviously there will be 0.7 volt drop across the diode to make it turn on right so this basics you know now also i have explained in detail in my previous video that whatever voltage we can have from this circuit that is pulsating DC, not exact DC, right? So, what is the basic idea of half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier? That is why we use those. That is basically to convert from AC to DC, right? But the output of this circuit is basically pulsating DC. That means the waveform, the output waveform will consist both AC and DC part. So, to, to get only the DC part from the Pulsating DC, what we do? We apply one capacitor in parallel with the load resistor. Another way is to add one series inductor in this circuit, okay? That is also one possible way which I already discussed. If you have not seen, just uh, check the link given in the description. I will post all the uh, related videos of my previous uh, already discussed concepts, okay? So, see... So, this is basically one kind of circuit which will convert the input AC to almost a pure DC. Obviously, we can never get a exact uh, DC. Obviously, some ripple, ripple will be there, but that can be uh, removed by proper designing of the circuit by adding one uh, capacitor parallel with the load resistor, okay? So, this is basically circuit which will convert AC to DC. Now, what you do? See, try to understand the remove the RL because why uh, we are removing RL I will just now after some time you, you will understand it clearly but uh, for the time being you just understand the capacitor has in this circuit capacitor whatever voltage is generated across the capacitor it has a path to discharge that is via the load resistor right but if we remove this RL 
then what will happen then obviously this capacitor will get no path to discharge why i will explain now so no need to worry so if you remove the rl we can have this kind of circuit where this is v in this is diode and this is capacitor and across the capacitor we are taking the v output and this circuit can act like a peak detector why now let's go to that question why so suppose you consider one ac wafer which is applied in the input and obviously for simplification in the explanation let us consider the diode is ideal diode and here capacitor across the capacitor we are taking the output now consider one sinusoid wafer of the input so uh, which is oscillating in between 5 volt and minus 5 volt okay now consider the positive half cycle see from this point it is starting observe the mouse pointer and it is keep on increasing here this point at this point it is taking the maximum value that is 5 volt then it is decreasing but see the output of from see try to understand as soon as the input is greater than 0 as you are considering ideal uh, diode model so initially the capacitor is completely discharged so zero voltage is applied in the n type portion of the diode and in the p type portion you are applying positive voltage because you are considering the positive half cycle of the input waveform right so as soon as input voltage is greater than zero the diode will be turned on right so the uh, voltage will be passed through the diode and the capacitor also will start charging so as soon as the input see input is increasing capacitor is also keep on increasing i have not drawn it properly uh, sorry for this mistake actually this peak and this point will be at same uh, vertically aligned they will be okay so you will understand why it is happening so so see as input is keep on increasing output across the capacitor will also keep on increasing because capacitor will charge according to the applied input voltage across the parallel plate of the capacitor right now consider this point when it is taking maximum value that is 5 volt so what will happen when input is 5 volt capacitor will also get 5 volt because diode is short circuited now as soon as the input voltage is decreased some by some amount from the 5 volt suppose it becomes 4.8 volt okay so now the input is 4.8 volt but the capacitor is charged suppose it is charged to obviously it will be charged to 5 volt because as soon as see try to understand when input is just decreased from 5 volt suppose you consider 4.99 volt so now input is 4.99 volt but the capacitor is charged to 5 volt it will take some time to discharge but it has no path to discharge why because the capacitor is at 5 volt and input is at 4.99 volt so what is the situation now the diode the p type portion of the diode at 4.99 volt and n type portion of the diode is at 5 volt so what will happen the diode will go to reverse bias so as the diode will go to reverse bias so the path will be open circuit so capacitor will not get any path to discharge so it will hold the 5 volt value okay i hope you have understood i am explaining again as soon as input voltage is greater than zero diode is turned on so it will be replaced by short circuit capacitor will keep on charging up to maximum that is up to 5 volt capacitor will charge as soon as the input goes below 5 volt what will happen capacitor is 5 volt but input will be less than 5 volt that means p type will be connected with uh, a voltage which is less than 5 volt but the capacitor is connected with a voltage which is 5 volt uh, sorry uh, that is the n type is connected with such a voltage which is 5 volt that means the n type is at higher potential uh, compared to p type so diode will be open circuit so the capacitor voltage will hold on and it will sustain its value that means this see this is how this is working this is working like a peak detector because see for the applied input of a 5 volt is the peak value and the capacitor is holding the peak value for the complete cycle in this way the circuit acts like a peak detector now let me generalize this suppose this is one random input of a input voltage and this see the global maxima in calculus we say this point a as global maxima right so global maxima is a now if you pass this input voltage through a peak detector you will get output as a the voltage corresponding to the point a why because as soon as the input voltage goes just below the voltage at a 
what will happen the p type will be connected at the lower potential n type will be connected at the higher potential because capacitor will be charged to the voltage corresponding to point a right so what will happen the diode will be open circuit and the capacitor will find no path to discharge so basically it will hold the value that is maximum value that is the voltage corresponding to point a this is what peak detector app works this is how peak detector works right now let me show you suppose this is this blue colored uh, waveform is one random applied input waveform so how the output waveform will look like obviously you can understand the output waveform will look like the uh, waveform drawn in pencil see for this part observe the mouse pointer input is keep on increasing and here this is local maxima capacitor will charge up to this now as soon as input is decreased capacitor will hold the same maximum value local maximum value because the diode will be open circuit for this case right now again input is decreased decreased then again input is increased here see as soon as input is increased compared to capacitor voltage the diode will again go to forward bias so capacitor also will then charge and charge then again this maximum after this maximum when input goes down the capacitor will hold the maximum local maximum value and again in this case same thing will happen that means if you consider the whole waveform see this is the global maxima and after the complete time the capacitor will have the value of the global maximum that is the voltage corresponding to this time okay so this is how the circuit works like a peak detector which circuit this circuit okay that is from the half wave rectifier uh, that is sand capacitor uh, filter based half wave rectifier if you remove the rl it will act like a peak detector okay obviously if you implement this circuit obviously you will not get exactly the peak value why because we have considered for our easily explanation purpose we have considered the diode as what ideal diode but obviously no diode in practical is ideal diode obviously to turn on the diode some potential will be dropped across the diode so that 0.7 volt may be for silicon so that voltage also you have to consider in the practical scenario now this is what about theoretical explanation but obviously if you visualize something it will be more clear to you so what i have done i have performed this circuit in multi sim see this is input f then one diode one and four zero zero one which you can easily get from place then component then uh, then diodes then see if you go below see what you can have uh, see here one and four zero zero one diode is there okay so you can easily get and capacitor one microfarad i have taken and to observe the output waveform i have taken two channel oscilloscope to differentiate in between input and output let me make the output waveform as blue in color now just run the simulation click on the oscilloscope reverse it and pause the simulation see if you observe let me show you see this what is happening that as I told you, the diode is not ideal diode, so obviously it will not uh, get the exact peak value, but a 0 0.7 volt drop will be there. But see, the output that is the blue color waveform is trying to follow the peak of the input sinusoid waveform, right? So let me make this okay. So obviously, this will be DC, output will be DC, and input is AC, right? So basically, this is what you can get if you run the simulation, you can observe, see the output is trying to follow the peak of the input okay this is how peak detector works and one good news is that uh, to get the minimum peak same kind of explanation which you can cross verify with your own concept just you reverse the diode uh, flip horizontal and connect it and simulate it see you can have the see this waveform let me show you by changing the color so the output is see blue waveform now blue waveform is trying to follow the minimum okay part of the input waveform okay so this is how just by reversing the diode uh, that is uh, just uh, 
flipping horizontal you can make uh, such a detector such a circuit which can detect the minimum part of the applied input waveform okay so i hope the peak detector working principle you have understood clearly this is all about multi scene simulation also this is all for my this video thank you for watching